His name is Pat, and he buys crap every Saturday and Sunday. You'll know where he's at. Take a guess, it's Flea Market Madness. Oh, yes, it's Flea Market Madness. And me, Frank. Time for another Flea Market Madness. Let's begin. PC and PS2 games here. Nothing too great to start. Aw, I have the sniffles. Here's a PS2 bundle. Excuse me, sir, how much is your PlayStation? 40. 40? I found the starting lineup figure on this $2 table. It's San Diego Padres great Benito Santiago. Nice, a GameCube microphone. I'll have to pick that up. Also found a Game Boy Charger and a GBA SP Charger here too. Score! Here's an Xbox, Zapper, and Japanese PS1 games including Gran Turismo, Gun Bullet, Point Blank in the US, and Puzzle Bobble 2. There's also a GameCube memory card, which you come across less often than you think, and a Game Boy printer is off screen. How much are your games, sir? Uh, $5 on the game. Okay. Okay. How about on the Game Boy printer? $5. Okay. How's it going, man? Alright, how about you? What's going on with you? Can I get this game? I don't think you've seen this before. Banjo-Kazooie? Oh, I got that one. So that's cool. What do you ask on the GameCubes? Uh, how about 28 bucks for you? Each. 28 each. bucks? Not terrible with a controller. It's too bad you don't have the, the disc for it. This had, you have the Game Boy adapter on the bottom of that one. I don't know if you see that. But you need a disc to use it. It's also a bunch of Super Famicom games. It's like it's import day today. There's a stack of nine NES games here, including Ninja Gaiden 2, Iron Sword, Rad Racer, Dr. Mario, Maniac Mansion, Zelda 2, and Ninja Turtles 2. I'm curious as to the cost. 85 bucks. 85? Why, that's my math. You, you didn't even bother to add, you just threw out a random number. Here's a TV from the prehistoric era with a record player built in. Homie figures! Remember homies? Anyone? A anyone? Checking in on Wario's booth. Slim pickings nowadays here. I'm not sure how long he'll last. <clears throat> Here's some custom vinyl posters with Mario, Luigi, and a drunk baby Yoshi. Oh, it's a, it's a gambling thing, okay. Oh, a game wheel. I can set up a Facebook raffle. Is that for sale? <laughs> 2600 and NES games here, individually priced. Oh, Dirty Harry. Some decent stuff like Xenophobe, Solomon's Key, Wrecking Crew. But out here, how do I know what these are worth? What about using a certain NES guide app available on iOS and Android devices? Cheap plug. <laughs> that was for the Ninja Turtle head. <laughs> That's hysterical. Scary Cabbage Patch Cat! Frank. What? What up? Uh, I'm not the swap me, Frank. What do you think I'm doing? <laughs> You're not gonna come out, really? You're gonna treat me like that? <laughs> I don't know. It's not that good, huh? But yeah, for me, though. For you, though, that has nothing to do with it. You're not buying Nintendo games, are you? No, I didn't, no, I gave up on that. <laughs> okay, I'll see you in a bit. Found a silver GBA SP. Nice! No charger, but it comes with a worthless GBA game I can toss into a river. How much for the Game Boy? Uh, that one, 10 bucks. 10 bucks? Party games! <laughs> yeah, so classic stuff. Just picked up some bottles of hand sanitizer with aloe. You'll die at the flea market without these. The perfect pancake. God, I love pancakes. Five dollars? Not bad. Who's hungry? What are you asking on your Xbox? Uh, 160. I have no idea if that's a good deal. Not that I care. How much for the Game Boy? Twenty. Uh, Twenty? Jesus. Mm -hmm. Good old Dave Hester. Does anyone watch Storage Wars anymore? Here he is. Hey, how's it going? Been a while. I got a present for you if you want one. Benito Santiago starting line up here. Not interesting. Da Vinci Code. Yeah, and this classic horror. 
Oh, Jack the Ripper. Well, you have Christopher Lee. And then, if I didn't have this one already, I'd buy it in a minute. But I love this movie, but I have well, it. I know how much you love Steve Martin, so cheaper by the dozen. Ugh. <laughs> God. Spare me these. If you want to get into this, Freud for beginners. How about that? Frank found a guide to hunting jaguars in Mexico. Probably a little bit out of date. This is a relic. I know. I almost want to get it just because I it's am. such I'm a... buying it. You oh, okay, okay. I, I, we want to shoot some jaguars no, in Mexico. No, it tells you how to track them. Yes, to shoot them. This is from like the 60s probably. No, but you don't have to. I know you don't have to shoot them, but they were going to shoot them. If yeah. you bought that book, you're going to shoot them. But I'm not doing it to shoot them. I'm doing it to get the tricks of the trade. Yeah, and, and, and hopefully get eaten. No. Just... And then I got this. Los... Los Lobos live at the Fillmore. That's okay. incredible. Oh, good. Here's Star Wars X-Wing Alliance and LucasArts Archive Volume 2 set for PC. Price and they're this. a little eBay-y pricey though. What's the price on that? Yeah, it's brand new, 103. It's open though, so I don't know. Yeah, I was making sure everything was in there. Well, just to let you know, technically when something's called new, it's usually sealed still. Frank, I know in the 80s you had that exact hairstyle on the right that that guy has. No, I had the one, yeah. No, I had the one like the, oh, that's hard. This is the fine of the swap meet. Yeah, that's the fine of the swap meet. Let's see if I can get one of these for cheaper. The perfect pancake, again? Only five dollars. Go for it? Four, yeah. All right, go for it. A dollar less, sold! Pancakes for everyone! Okay, now I just want you to say you have to bump into Salma Hayek. I'm not oh. <laughs> because I said... said four seconds ago he was looking for that. So I found it. If that, maybe we'll see her. Oh. Frank, you need, you need the uh, Gillette Venus Oceana no, shaver? No, I stopped shaving my legs years ago. Okay. <laughs> so... So these are these are the price marked on here? Okay. Found a nice dealer here with lots of good NES games. He even has a box Turtles Manhattan Project. I'm probably not going to find a deal here, but it's still nice to look. I don't want to smash this here. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. She must have been okay. Uh, you need a Millennium Falcon shell? Right? Wow. That's, that's a newer one. That's, that's not the old really one. That's really cool, though. Two for dollar movies. That's not it, but you can look. See, now they're giving them away. Yeah, but still, I still can't find what I'm looking for. Because the ones I'm looking for are old. This guy thinks the old movies from the 90s, you know what I mean? And here's a couple of GameCube controllers. How much on these uh, controllers? $3. $3? This is so worth the price, even for the weirdly painted one. Uh, I told you it was good here, Frank. Be here forever. What did you, you get already? The Good Shepherd. Oh, the original Wizard of Oz. Oh. And then, oh man, you want this one. Oh, how did this get in? You want this one? Madden in 2007. I found the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. So I'll get that. Or you can treat me. Let's see. <laughs> oh, thanks, Frank. <laughs> Half Life 2 is a first person shooter where it's like you're a scientist. Uh, uh, you know, it's just a run-of-mill scientist and everything goes haywire around you, know, like an interdimensional portal opens up with aliens coming and attack the whole scientific, you know... Walk around the corner and shoot somebody. Based upon his stack of, of movies, I'm going to guess that that guy would want Life Aquatic Criterion. <laughs> oh, do you want it? Do you want it? Sure. Uh, Guitar Hero 2, you need that one? Well, I got on the dare. No? Well, actually, this is a Sega Master System game. This came out in 86 in the U.S., Frank. And uh, not many people had this, but this really wasn't worth anything, but it's just cool to see. Yeah, he doesn't care. No, not at all. Good swap me, Frank. You found... Yeah. You found DVDs. That's right. I, and I found, uh, I found CDs, too. All right. See you later. Okay. Bye, Frank. Bye. We'll see you next time on another Flea Market Madness. It's not quite dead yet.
Every man for himself, Royal Rumble, no? No, I wouldn't watch that if I have to be, I have those things the guy in Clockwork Orange <laughs> had on my eye. To hold them open? To hold them open, yeah. No, that to me is, is so stupid, I question you watching them. That's how bad it is. <laughs>